Okay, so I'm going to want characteristics of nodes. First of all, I'm going to learn four types of qualities of support. I'm going to support coach. Number one, knowing the sport skills. Number two, knowing the rules and laws. And then number three, understanding mental things and understanding physical needs. Okay, firstly, we're going to talk about knowledge of sport skills. Okay, for sport coach, they need to know and understand the skills required and be able to dem dem demonstrate the skills. They need to understand how to develop the skills and able to improve the performance. Now, a great example would be Louis Van Gaal. He introduced a rehabilitation program to reduce injuries at Manchester United. Throughout his career, he's been doing this for his team in Denmark. And uh, he shows that he has the right knowledge to support, to have the sports skills to improve and develop existing players. Uh, he had a positive impact on recently Victor Valdez. That uh, he introduced the rehabilitation skills with, with, to Victor Valdez, and now he has benefited from this, and he joined um, Manchester United. Another person, Rodman Persie. This was a couple of years ago when um, when he was playing for Denmark, and uh, he was uh, he had an injury, so then Denmark he decided to treat uh, that rehabilitation, rehabilitation to improve his fitness. Okay, number two, knowledge of rules and laws. A sport coach needs to be a good at a need to be a good role model. Uh, they need to pass on their understanding to participate, obviously promote fair play and uh, follow rules efficiently efficiently. A good example would be Sir Alex Ferguson. Like when the incident happened with Ash Young when he was diving, he had words with Ash Young over the diving accusation. Uh, this gives a positive image due to showing that he plays fair play because Sir Alex Ferguson was telling him what was right or wrong. Even though he was his own player, he, he doesn't support the player. He also needs to teach them what is right or wrong. Yeah, as you can see, there's a picture on the paper. Another one is understanding mental needs. Now, sport coach needs to know what needs to know what motivates each participant. Uh, they need to be able to take into account what participants want to achieve and what they want to engage. A good example was High Redner. High uh, Queen Park Rangers, uh, as you know, last year were relegated into the QB, into the low division. Uh, then they assisted Harry Redknapp with the job because he has like played with uh, played with like good teams like Tottenham like coached them and uh, this shows that this motivated the players to be because they're with a highly reputation manager so they believe that they can get back into the Premier League as they have done this year. Uh, like I mentioned, he played with he managed Tottenham Tottenham and they're like a high division team. So this shows that he has the right skills to motivate each player in the Understanding physical needs. Uh, the sport coach needs to be able to influence uh, fitness, phys individuals' fitness, improve physical skills of individuals, and uh, to provide appropriate drills to perform optimum. Uh, another great example was my United. This year they suffered 55 injuries for the first year of Real Madrid uh, managing at United. This shows that improving, improving physical needs for these young players, like these young tennis that play for under 21s, he has given them, uh, like, uh, what's his name, James Wilson and McNair. He's given them the confidence and boost to, and the fitness to play first team for the actual Manchester United Premier League team. Uh, this allows young squads to join the same training drills and the same top teams, the same top squad. This shows a bit of motivation and it links with the motivation because if you're more playing with the top uh, first team, it shows that you have the capabilities of being there one day. Okay, now I'm going to go four types of characteristics of a sports coach. The four I've picked are discreet, consistent, patient, and approachable. Number one, discreet. This is where coaches be able to give personal information, to be able to be trusted, and to be respecting privacy or maintaining silence about something that's been given to them. I'm going to give an example of a manager that has not been discreet. Roy Hudson says in live press conference that Raheem Sterling was tired to play for England against Estonia. This had a huge effect because he's mentioned it into the media, and obviously, you, whoever goes through the media goes through all around the world. This shows that. He was not discreet with Sterling's personal information and exposed. This could be debatable that is he the right manager for England and if he can't be able to uh, um, be discreet with personal information. He cannot be, tr he cannot be trusted to shows and um, this obviously has a, this destroys the, the communication and the relationship between players and managers. Uh, second one, consistency. Consistency means that the ability for a coach to do the same thing all over again, carry on with success and everything. So have a consistent streak of winning and achieving. A uh, good example is in basketball, Tom Rizzo, ranking number one for coaches in basketball. Um, as you can see the record, he shows already 439 wins out of 178 losses. 
This this shows that he's consistently winning games and trials for his team, and it looks like looking at his record, he's this is due to looking at his record, he's world ranking number one in sport basketball coaches, fucking college year. Number two, uh, patience. Patience is a bit to wait for something to enjoy something tedious without getting frustrated. Uh, the coach is able to give time for improvements and give him chance for long term. Okay, this is a huge disadvantage for United. Ferguson never gave never gave me a chance. This means that he never gave a chance to a star player name for Pogba for Pogba in the year. And uh, this shows that he wasn't patient enough in developing some young potential players. He didn't give him the right time for developing. So therefore, United are getting the opportunity and are planning to pay 77 million for a player that they sold for free to Juventus. Approachable. This is when a coach is friendly, friendly and easy to talk to, able to meet if players have any problems that are curing and uh, being open to the team. An example is Ronaldo. He said, like I said before, he's like a father in football because he told me many things are really missing because I have a great relationship with him. Now, Ronaldo is talking about his previous manager, Serge Ferguson. He's saying that he was like a father to him, father in football. This shows that Serge Ferguson was an approachable coach. Uh, due to being highly respected as one of the best fo footballers in the world, so having this mutual feeling against each other, like approachable, shows that he's like has a relationship, a good relationship with each player. Now, four roles of a sport coach: role model, teacher, motivator, and a friend. Okay, first of all, we go through role model. A it's a coach you know, whose behavior is ex or example is success, or it can be emulated by others, especially by younger people. This means that they should be saying a good example, saying benchmarks for others and professional attitude in public. Now, a good example is a uh, Liverpool boss Brendan Rodgers. Now, he hails role, role model to Giggs for being assistant manager at Manchester United. Giggs has accomplished a lot, has accomplished a lot within Manchester United in his 23-year career. I think, yeah, and um, you can see through the stats that what he's accomplished. And now he's got the role of being assistant manager soon. He wants to become the actual manager. This shows that Ryan Giggs has an incredible success in Man United and also motivates others for his accomplishment. Like things Anna Anna Yanaza, he's been a uh, he's been recently given the number number eleven shirt and that was previously used by Ryan Giggs. Now, what's beneficial about this is a, a major rivalry. Like Ben Rogers is is a, what's called what's called um, saying good things about what's one of the main competitors, showing that he's a good role model for the team. A motivator, keeping the coach has to be keeping players motivated. Uh, has to be optimism and knows how to motivate people. A good example is Brian Clough mentioned to his players before the match that England manager was uh, spectating the match. This obviously like led to motivation for the team because everyone wants to play good for the match. Everyone wants to impress the England manager, even though he wasn't there watching. This shows that Brian Clough knew that the, to motivate his players, knew how to motivate players, and uh, he's to lead him to become one of the most successful managers in the world. Um, this is good because one of the most important thing about players these days is motivating them, and if even if it means lying, then yeah, so be it. Psychologist, okay, this is important now. Psychologist is, is, is important due to you need to understand sports psychology, uh, how people mentally think, uh, investigate that what motivates each participants and evaluate individual behavior. Obviously, everyone is different, so people are going to be motivated. People are going to act differently. Um, this enables participants to achieve their potential. For example, Roy Hudson, he recruited a psychiatrist, and uh, the aim was and the purpose was for this is to England to show the heartbreak of uh, another penalty shoot at defeat in the summer World Cup finals. So this was from the past previous World Cup thing, but and uh, this is just to it's just to mentally build in the the confidence that they can do it when they can't really Analysis, uh, this shows that Roy Hudson understands the importance of psychology because psychology is a really important uh, a skill factor in support. Okay, organized is really important. To be a successful coach, you have to be organized. That's the same as everything in life. Like, you have to be successful, you have to be organized. Being prepared, that means planning a training session that, for, for instance, at Arsenal Wenger, you have to ensure that every training session is planned before. Uh, the equipment prepared is beforehand and backup plan. Now, this is recently Arsenal Wenger. Uh, said that uh, the Arsenal assistant coaches will have to set up training equipment two hours before training session to avoid time wasting. Now this is important because if if a players are what's called um like for instance we in a P lessons we take to that perspective of being a lesson and the teachers have not 
what's called um, prepared for the lesson is going to waste our teaching time. This is the same as that in the training. They have training time and they have to make sure that they uh, use it to the advantage of the, what they can do. Uh, this shows that Arsene Wenger believes that training session is really important. Obviously, you know, Arsene Wenger, the majority of the players he has are injured, so they need to take advantage of training. And that's all.